Hey everyone, welcome to another Elvistory video. <clears throat> In this video, I would like to discuss the man who sold Elvis Presley all those nice flashy clothes he used to wear. And that man's name is Bernard Lansky um, of Lansky Brothers Clothes. Now, uh, as the story goes, Bernard and his brother Guy Lansky opened Lansky Brothers in 1946 as an army surplus store. And that didn't last too long as far as them selling army surplus. And then they um, eventually closed their doors down and came up with another idea to sell flashy clothing. So with that in mind, they reopened the store and uh, in 1952, Bernard was at the store and he's looking outside and he sees a young man out there. And it's Elvis. And at that point, Elvis was still in high school. So Bernard took the time and he, he said, hey, young man, you know, would you like to come in and look around, you know? And he's in... Elvis was being shy, he declined, you know, and, but he did strike up a little conversation with him. And he said to Bernard, you know, comes the day I become famous, I'm going to buy you out. And Bernard said, no, no, don't buy me out. I just want you to buy from me. <laughs> so... As the story goes, in uh, later years, when Elvis started getting famous, well, let me backtrack a little bit. The first time Elvis bought from Bernard Lansky was for his high school prom. That was the very first time in, I believe, 52 or 53. So fast forward ahead a little bit to when Elvis got, when he started getting uh, famous and he went on TV for the first time. He came by uh, Lansky Brothers and he told Bernard Lansky, because at that time they they got to know each other. And he told Bernard that uh, I'm going on television and I need you to help me out, you know, pick out a nice outfit for me. And, and Bernard did and he... Uh, he went on television in, I believe it was early 56. It was the, I, I think it was the stage show that the Dorsey brothers put on in January 56. That was his first um, nationally syndicated television appearance. Elvis was on TV once before that on the Louisiana Hayride, but that wasn't a nationally syndicated show. So anyway, um, Elvis and Bernard kept uh, a good relationship going and he kept buying clothes from Bernard and Bernard was uh, said that you know at one point he would bring um, actually bring Elvis's clothes to Graceland and um, he would uh he would go there like early in the morning but elvis naturally he was you know from his schedule he'd be sleeping whatever so according to bernard um gladys would usually be there and open the door and welcome him in and he said how nice gladys was you know he said you know she would say oh just take the clothes upstairs and leave them by his room but when you're done come down and have breakfast we're having breakfast you know, and that's just how Elvis and his family were, you know, I mean, they didn't, they welcomed people like that, 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 that was that hospitality that they had, you know, and Elvis's mom, you know, from everybody had talked to back then, she was just a sweet, sweet lady. And, uh, and then Bernard goes on to say that, you know, through the years, naturally, as Elvis got more famous, you know, he would have to open the store 
late at night, like around midnight, you know, late at night, just so Elvis can come in and do some shopping if he wanted to, because at that point, Elvis couldn't go clothes shopping in the daytime. I mean, forget it, it would have been mass hysteria. <laughs> but, but yeah, and um, their friendship and Elvis buying for him lasted, I mean, in total, I think it was about a good uh, 25 years they knew each other. And right up until the day Elvis passed. Actually, Bernard Lansky uh, was the man who picked out um, the white suit and blue tie that Elvis wore when he was laid out, when he died. Bernard Lansky picked out that suit. So he's quoted as saying, um, I dressed Elvis in his first suit and his last suit. But he goes on to say, you know, how just so nice Elvis was, you know, all those years to him. He was, he said he was always so polite to me. He was always, you know, such, he became such a good friend to me. And, you know, it was just a nice story of, you know, it was, it was so much more than Elvis just getting his clothes from this guy. They actually became, you know, you know, pretty good friends. I mean, it was, it was a nice uh, story. And I think, um, fast forward, I think Bernard and his brother, Guy Lansky, I think at a certain point, I think it was in the 80s, I might be wrong on that, they parted ways, but Lansky brothers still went on. And uh, unfortunately, Bernard Lansky passed away 10 years ago at the age of 85. But um, I wanted to put this up because I feel this was an important part of Elvis Presley's, you know, pers uh, being because Elvis was a very flashy person. We all know that. He liked to dress up and Bernard Lansky was the guy that would dress him up like that. He would pick out all his flashy clothes and everything, you know. He was partly responsible for, I'm not going to say for Elvis' fame, but for people who gave the oohs and ahs and look at that. And wow, look how nice Elvis is dressed. That all came from Lansky Brothers. And that's why I feel Bernard Lansky should be recognized for his part in Elvis's, you know, career. So, I mean, also there were more famous people that used to shop. I mean, Lansky's became very famous and guys like ZZ Top, uh, I think B.B. King might have shopped there too. Johnny Cash, I know, did. Um, I think there were one or two more, but it became a pretty famous place. It's not located... I believe to this day, I don't think it's located in the same location on Beale Street. I think it's now in a, in a mall in Memphis, I think. But that's basically the story behind that. And uh, in in the for the rest of this video, I'm going to leave you guys with some pictures of Bernard and Elvis and him actually uh, showing Elvis clothes and you know fitting them for him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for subscribing and if you haven't, please do. Thanks, I appreciate it. TCB and God bless.